Marchy Modness. A mod where I march and mod all day long. Hello, Stroke Sufferers, and welcome back to iSorrow Productions, where today I'm gonna go ahead and show you a new mod that we haven't played before. Because it's March Modness, like I just said, intelligibly. With no incoherent rambling. But first a word from Skillshare. That's right, thank you today's sponsor, Skillshare. Have you been looking to pick up a brand new skill or even go ahead and expand a skill set that you already have? Well, let me introduce you to Skillshare where you can sign up today and get access to a variety of different courses and skills to pick up today. There are so many classes to pick from, you may actually find a new passion or hobby just from being curious. A course I think you guys might be interested in is MKBHD's course for YouTube success, which will really get you down and what you need to do to produce and edit a YouTube video. From scripting, producing, and posting your video, it will help a lot. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. It doesn't matter what level you're at, if it's a new skill, something you're actually expertised in, there will be a class for your level. So thank you very much Skillshare for sponsoring the video. If you want to go ahead and and support the channel and also get yourself some brand new skills in your life you can click my link down below in the description to get yourself started on some brand new skills or maybe just go ahead and fine tuning some old skills and the first 1000 my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare to try out so go ahead guys sign up skillshare today you might just learn something new and thank you skillshare for sponsoring the video all right and if you're wondering what today's mod is it is in fact the divided states of Hamid. America. Here is a picture of the workshop for the mod in case I forget to put it in the description <clears throat> Bro, which uh, if you cannot tell just by the name is pretty, <laughs> pretty simple in that uh, Yeah, look that doesn't look too united to me <laughs> They even took Mexico and Canada with them cut damn Americans All right as far as I'm aware though. We do have focus trees in this I don't know if this is the original uh, disunited states of America. There was one a very long time ago and uh yeah, I don't think that had focus trees, but here I am today, never played the old one anyway, ready for some fun. Alright, so as you can see, we have the Americas here, we've got a bit of South America, and then we've got North America, obviously, and Central America, and the Caribbean, and we even go further than the normal Hoi 4 map goes if you really wanted to play the Northwest Territories. Igloo and then yeah to the right of that we have America and to the right of that we have America and to the right of that we have America and to the right of that we have America ah uh, yes the Phantom Islands, the home of the Cure to Ligma. So a lot of these nations do have focus trees, and I am excited to give one a go today, and I think the one I am going to do is California. All I seem to know about Americans is that the Republic of California is where those liberals live. But uh, personally, I'm not too invested in star signs, so I don't care if you're a liberal or not. I'm here to paint maps. Here we are in the Republic of California. We have a angry bear on the flag. And look, our leader is equally a angry, bold bear. <laughs> uh, we aren't perfect over here in California. We do have a little bit of problem and we will have to have a little bit of fix on it. Also, I hate the fact that immediately I can see the Walt Disney Company is <laughs> leader of the fascist party <laughs> led by Walt Disney himself. So yeah, nothing crazy in the focus tree, but uh, we will be going down a path I've already picked and that is sadly not the Disney plan. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that today. All right, we do have a wee bit of an army, but it is not fully equipped and our stockpile is not fully equipped. Uh, we do have a couple boats though. Um, not anything that we actually need considering we have no cruisers and cruisers are very necessary for our naval battles in this game. Uh, but also I'm not too certain how much the navy will come in handy anyway. So we'll just leave it on strike force and hope we don't have to do anything else with it. And now we need to get back to uniting the Americas under one banner. The banner of the angry bear. I just noticed that the, uh, the little tension thing is now a eagle. <laughs> 
truly land of the free, eh? Now, from looking through the mod, I've noticed there's a few edgy individuals looking to, uh, let's just say, bring back old ways. And today, I've got to say that we'll be putting an end to that pretty quickly. Why, why is it just... Why is little Dixie here, eh? <laughs> it's led by Oliver Little, too. <laughs> he ain't that little. Sorry, Mickey Mouse, but I have no time for your fun and games today. I'm going to bring in a man much more menacing than Mickey Mouse, but only by a little, and that is George S. Patton. Look at him go. Let's notice our flag now is a bear with a gun. <laughs> hey, you ever played Fallout New Vegas? Well, welcome to Patton's Legion. <laughs> oh, okay, so people are already going to war in this reclamation of land, and uh, gotta keep our eye out to make sure that we won't get overtaken pretty quickly here. So first thing I'm doing is I am building us a industry, as we do stand pretty heavily industrialized, but not enough to really get us going and rolling over the Americas. Uh, otherwise, I would immediately just start justifying on people as I can do that now. So, uh, yeah, just gonna wait a bit long until the army has guns. <laughs> it's just, uh, I won't wait too long. <laughs> uh... I would love to see my army command, but uh, that does appear to be a little dog with a pirate hat in the way. Oh no, not, not the Treaty of Hannibal, little dicks, he's gone, what, what happened to Mr. Little? Oh, I was really disappointed with the movie they made about him. He was such an interesting figure and for some reason they cast a mouse to play him. This might be a stupid plan. So I've got them locked in on the front line, they've been grinding a little bit and look, they've lost double the casualties. I'm gonna go ahead and launch a sneaky naval invasion. Uh, they never saw it coming, except the places they did see it coming. There you go, the landed troops are making a beachhead, and again, just endlessly defending. They aren't doing too well right now, and uh, they do have way more troops than me, but I don't think overall that's gonna matter with how the AI is doing this. I would love to just go ahead and uh, give a proper delegation and thanks to the Republic of Oregon for going ahead and getting me pretty far down my land doctrine and sacrificing 60,000 brave men to do so. Thank you very much. Round of applause! I'm pretty sure I'm in a position now where I can just run over the north completely, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Yep, I think it's safe to say they might be a wee bit overrun. Uh, what do I need to actually capitulate them? 1%! Uh, off to Baker I go! Beautiful! Now, right after that, we won't be wasting any time, and we need to get into the state of Nevada. Very famous state for, uh, sand. And if you really like sand, why not try sand gambling? Alright, will you put up more of a fight than Oregon, Mr. Sand? Uh, the sand is not really fighting back. There we go. Now, I've noticed if we go ahead and get ourselves up here in Washington too, we can go ahead and form this area, which is going to be good for us because none of this is actually a core state. So, off to Washington we shall go. Alright, we're doing a wee bit of spying here and I can see uh, they've got a wee bit of a supply issue, but that does mean I have to push across this river and into a mountain tile. <laughs> How fun! Well, that's good to know. The Social Republic of uh, Tidewater joined faction underscore name underscore communist underscore six. Very famous faction, that one. So, unsurprisingly, we're going to be employing the exact same stratagem we did to beat the other guys. That, uh, I think that pretty much broke them <laughs> quicker than it did the other guys. There we go. Nice. Now we can form our nation. Okay, let's see what monstrosity our flag will be this time. Well, I guess it could always be worse. All right, now we are just going to take a few moments to recreate coup our losses and go ahead and prepare our assault into Arizona. Now, already quite a lot happening over here in the Americas. Uh, the Franco Alliance, that's one thing for sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mackenzie's having none of that. I want to throw up. Oh, I actually scratched that. We're going to go deal with Idaho first. Uh, but we will have to take down Arizona to get down the rest of our focus tree there. I was just taking my time just because uh, I didn't want to get overzealous with how, how large I'm expanding here. Uh, but if we do take Idaho and a few of these other states next to us, we can integrate them into our territory. Also, any of you eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed that I went left side in mobile warfare on the Doctrine, which means it is in fact tanky. Time. Uh, not tanky like that. I meant like actual tanks, not the 
Twitter posting. Anyway, <laughs> time to find out what Idaho is all about. Does anyone even know what Idaho is all about? Does anyone know what any of, like, these states <laughs> are about? I'm having a hard enough time to believe that they even exist in the first place. I think it's just a cruel joke by Americans. Now, we are pretty good for oil, but we are lacking a lot of ability to get rubber. You see, there's only a few countries around to trade with, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start to build my own so I don't have to re rely on the Hawaiians and the Floridians. Oh, that was fun, Idaho. Uh, now back to not acknowledging your existence, shall I? But say, ain't there some Mormons around here? And look, there they are. It's the Mormons led by Mr. Mormon. Still have no idea what a Mormon is. And uh, at this point, I'm just too scared to even look it up. So I'm just going to keep <laughs> just, just put it in the recess of my brain. There's something about Jesus being a proud American, right? Uh, I just got the pop-up that George S. Patton has fallen sick. Have you? Why don't you just slap yourself out of it, Patton? I heard you did that a lot. Here we go. Goodbye, Utah. And look at that. That's looking pretty good. Now, I know a lot about uh, Arizona. I know that it is so hot there that even the devil would second guess bothering to visit. Just look at him. Look at how happy he is to be living in Arizona. He's having the time of his life. On fire! So Arizona, no problem, get it in. And now we have to wait 140 days for Patton to write a speech. <laughs> Thanks, Patton. And there you go, I'm gonna have a quick munch on the Navajo while we're here too. All right, now all these people might think this is bad, but at least I'm not leading you with Mickey Mouse Man, okay? I'm gonna remove you, Patton. I, I, I can't be bothered to read your little LARP speech. Once again, little Timmy, if I catch you reading at any point and respecting law in a mod, I'm coming for you! With that, we get ourselves a few more war goals against, uh, well, the Navajo Nation, didn't I? Just hold on a sec, Utah. <laughs> hey, at least I know what New Mexico is. Yeah, you're, you're really taking this in your stride, aren't you, Mr. Patton? Generalissimo of California. I mean, it's only fair that I also take Baja California, right? It does have California in the name, after all. Time to go mobile! Uh, only damn promise, supply is so... <laughs> God damn terrible in most of these front lines that I don't think we're gonna be able to make a really big tank division. I think you've blown that out of bit proportion, aren't you? That's just a dog. Uh, so if you're wondering what I'm doing and just sitting around, uh, simply put, I am building supply up all on this eastern front. Now, if you don't know, uh, supply flows from your capital with railways. So railways don't give you supply, they move it, which some people still don't seem to understand. Uh, so having a nifty level five railway so it doesn't get all chalked up is very handy. Also, so I can see interesting wars happen by the AI, like the great Illinois Ohio war of 1944. Wow. <laughs> Why is Greenland here? Anyway, Colorado, you have no right to be so high up. It's time Patton himself knocked you back down to the ground. Oh yeah, these tanks absolutely slap. Yeah, smell you later, Colorado. I didn't even make them to be fast and they're actually still just overrunning the enemy. They are that damn good. Damn, well, <laughs> easy peasy. I'm sorry, friend, but why are you winking at me like that? You must go. Is it possible to fall in love with a tank? Because I think I've done it. That, that literally took seconds with those tanks. <laughs> All right, Montana, I'm coming here. Oh, okay, Greenland, do you need to mind your own business? You're getting a bit too big for your boot. Fly, my pretties. Fly! Oh, God. Greater Ohio! That's right, guys. We're Ohio gang in the YouTube channel. Oh, my God. I found him! Alf landed! Sorry, Mr. Landon, <laughs> but you need to go. Gobble, gobble, gobble! Yep, we are, uh, we're pushing further east. Alright, I got no idea what sad Hoover is. <laughs> But I also don't want to know. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go deal with the Greater Ohio scenario over here. Oh man, they are. They immediately just attacked me. Uh, appear to have lost all their strength, and they have no supply. So I guess I will just roll over them. Yep, that's rolling over them. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of casualties. Okay, nice. Missouri is re improving relations with Missouri. That's just an igloo. <laughs> 
Oh, goodbye, Ohio. You did do well in defending. Actually, you did a terrible job and you lost almost 2 million people doing it, which was quite fun. So here's where things get a little bit complicated. Everyone left for us to reclaim the Americas are either in a faction or a puppet of Mr. Sad Hoover, which means we're going to go to war with a lot of people at the same time. So I guess we'll start with the Jeffersonian Lee. A reason? You have a personal hatred for this man's face. All right, time to send you packing. Right, that was um, not as difficult as I thought it might be. Oh, well, let's try, uh, let's try these guys, shall we? Oh, uh, yeah. I also have a quick fix for your sad Hoover problem. Nuclear annihilation. Can't be sad if you're dead. Yeah, okay, just uh, just gonna drop a couple more. Haven't really used nukes in a while, so I'm feeling a bit willy nilly. Uh, unsurprisingly, with the power of nuclear bombs, that wasn't too difficult. And then there was but one left for the picking. Goodbye. Uh, well, Boston ain't gonna be in Russia hour free, and that's for damn sure. Well, after a strenuous few years of turmoil and nuclear warfare, millions dead. America. Behold! United except Alaska and Hawaii and Puerto Rico. Name my problem. Someone else can deal with that. There you go. That was the, uh, the, well, disunited states of America reunited. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe button down below. And join the gravy baby army today. Bam. Merch link in the description. Bah. Follow my social media. Bro. Bang, 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 bang. I want to die.